Greetings and welcome back to the Spartan News Network for the week of Monday the 25th of November. Today we start on a 1E schedule. This week we have a 12.30 dismissal on Wednesday and schools closed for Thanksgiving break on Thursday and Friday. Now over to service. This week, Campus Ministry is sponsoring an ecological stewardship program called Fundraking. This program is a service that challenges students to encourage their families to allow them to hand rake their family's lawn rather than hiring landscaping professionals. Volunteers who fund rake simply submit money earned by raking leaves to Campus Ministry in exchange for community service hours. Campus Ministry uses these funds for programs like Fair Trade, where items are sold for cheaper than the listed price. This creates more product turnaround and better overall support for impoverished families in developing countries. So this week, go out and rake your family's lawn and work towards a charitable cause. Sign up on the service wall for more information. Thank you. Today is the long-awaited powder puff game between the senior slimes and the jailbreak juniors. Come out to support and stay tuned to see who wins. Today also starts trials for girls basketball. Freshmen will try out after school from 12.45 to 4.30, and JV and varsity will try out from 5 to 7. The tryouts will be the same on Tuesday the 26th, but due to the half day on Wednesday the 27th, the freshman tryouts will be from 12.45 to 2.30, and JV and varsity will be from 3 to 5. Good luck to all those trying out. Stay tuned for more winter sport updates after we return and have a happy Thanksgiving. Hello Spartans, it's Ryan Jacobella here with your weekly update on Spartan sports. The week before last, the football team ended their season against Hudson Catholic. Junior Andrew Curry led the way with three touchdowns, while Primus, Asenison, and Dwyer each scored. The boys lost 34-28 to end their season. Congratulations to the entire team on a successful season. This past weekend, three Spartan runners competed for the meet of champions at Homedale Park. We will recap this next week. Now a quick announcement. Freshman boys basketball trials will be held on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week. Trials will run from 3.15 to 5 on Monday and Tuesday and 1.15 to 3 on Wednesday. The JV and varsity trials will be on the same dates, but they will run from 7 to 9.15 on Monday and Tuesday and 5 to 7 on Wednesday. That's all your Spartan sports for this week. Have a happy Thanksgiving. This week's quote is about gratitude, given that it is almost Thanksgiving. Here is a quote by Rumi, the Persian poet. Wear gratitude like a cloak, and it will feed every corner of your life. Riley Sue here with your weather forecast for Thanksgiving week. The temperatures will reach highs in the low 50s and lows in the low 30s. Weather that is thankfully not too cold. There are expected showers, however, to be seen on Thursday, but hopefully it will hold off until after the family football game. Have a great Thanksgiving. We would like to encourage all students to consider joining the amazing visual arts extracurricular activities offered here. No prior experience is needed and all are welcome. Tomorrow, the video club will have a two hour meeting right after school at 2.45 p.m. They will be filming and editing their own movie. On Wednesday, the photo club will not be having a meeting, but a mobile project will be emailed to our members. Please contact Ms. Rosinski if you are interested in joining the art club. They will resume their meetings next Friday. Don't forget to check out our Instagram page at IHS Visual Arts for more updates, as well as to see our latest creations. This week in the music department, we are so proud of Ryan Daly, Gerard Rabulon, and Victoria Coey, who performed with the NJ All-State Mixed Chorus at NJ PAC last weekend. These students are ranked as some of the best singers in the state. A special congratulations to Victoria Coey, who sang a solo at the concert. Also, today and tomorrow, the Immaculata Music Department will be hosting their spring musical auditions in the theater for Little Shop of Horrors from 3 to 5. That is all from the music department this week, Immaculata. Have a great break. Hi everyone, Emily here with your Pet of the Week. This week we are featuring senior Mia Damio's brand new puppy, Harper, also known as Puggers. Harper is an eight week old Jug or Jack Russell Terrier and Pug mix. She is so small that you can pick her up with just one hand. Harper loves to run around the yard, nap, and play with her pink ball. She is also quite the fashionista and never leaves the house without a sweater. Welcome to the Damio family, Harper. If you would like to see your pet featured, please send pictures and videos to my email. We would love to see all your furry friends. Hello Spartans, this week is National Hunger and Homelessness Awareness Week. As many gather with families, we take time to consider what they are thankful for. 
At the same time, many of us turn to our thoughts to those in need. The Thanksgiving food drive is going on now for families that are unable to afford a Thanksgiving meal. Please talk to your theology teacher about how you can donate canned food today. It's time for your fun fact of the week. An octopus is famous for having eight arms, but did you know that they also have three hearts and blue blood? Hey all you turkey lovers, and welcome back to this segment of Joke or Riddle of the Week. Here we're with Mrs. Zoda. Take it away, Sheridan. Are you ready, Ms. Zoda? As ready as I will ever be. When did the pilgrims first say, God bless America? Did the pilgrims say that? When they first heard America sneeze. <laughs> Thank you once again for watching this week's Spartan News Network update. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell for notifications. You can also follow us on our digital arts Instagram for even more updates. I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving break and make sure to be thankful for all the blessings you have. See you next time.